All right, hey, Motivational Construction today. In the name of Yahweh, yo, we're gonna replace a water line. It's gonna be wild. Here's some tools you're gonna need. So, you're gonna need some pipe clamps because we're working on galvanized pipe. So we're gonna have to make a cut. That's gonna be the quickest way with the hacksaw. Then we've got our, our three quarter PEX fittings. Our PEX crimping tool. Um, I do have a compression fitting in case a galvanized pipe gets broken when we're taking it off. Um, we're also going to go quarter tour, quarter turn, three quarters ball valve with uh, compression fittings. All right. So I already shut off the main water supply to the street. Had, and I'll show you a video on that. First, you're going to want to remove your electrical line, which is actually going to be the top two screws here. Boy, this is pretty old and rusty. I think this is original to the house here. Maybe 100 years old? Who knows? Who knows? So, that's loose. Good, now I'm going to take it off. We're going to keep it attached at a low point so we still have a ground. Because we don't want to turn off our breaker box. And we're using gloves too, but it is connected at two points. We're going to leave the other one down here connected. So that there's a ground. Full time. And we're probably going to get rid of the water meter. Unless we have a three quarter connection. Water meters aren't really necessary unless you want to find a leak. So now, once that's disconnected here, I'm going to pry off some of these so this can get out of the way even more. We're going to cut right here and attach our three-quarter fitting so that we can take apart the rest of this stuff. Yeah, we're not going to use a T anymore. So now... Looks like this isn't galvanized. It looks like it's something else. It's probably going to drain for a while. There's a lot of pressure in there. Okay. Talking two bathrooms worth of water going around. Right now, I also want to clip uh, this, this little zip tie here to get in the way. Just going to yank it off. Water up and out of the way. Hopefully, we can keep our water meter. Thank you. 
to swivel things off here. First thing I want to do is try and loosen this guy up a bit. Ready, Teddy. Go the other way. We don't want to put too much pressure on these things. Let's see. Yep. All right, so I found out that this is actually sweat on. We got all sorts of stuff. We got brass, we got copper, we got galvanized. So since it's sweat on, I'm going to cut it at its top point here. <clears throat> Take our pipe cutter and make a high cut on this. Ooh. Boy, we're starting to spin a little crazy here. Yeah, so as you can see, that was sweat on, that was copper. So all this is the garbage rust. So you're gonna wanna clean your joints. Uh, very good. Deburr it. Get our new pieces. All right, so we've got our three quarter ball valve we're going to put on. And the only way to do that is to hold it. Oh, it comes to them. Cool. Oh, my okay, so. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so now technically I don't need this.
right. We've got our three quarters connector crimper right here. Now I'm also going to want to dispose of this one piece. We're going to have to get a rock to hold that up. Now we've got our crimper. I'll probably make a little wooden block or a concrete cinder block over here. Okay. This is our three quarter sleeve. Alright, so now I gotta go put this in a vise and screw that off. Got our quarter ball valve turn. We've got our water meter in. And we connected here with an elbow. Use some pipe dope. We went right back in. So that's it. I'm gonna show you how to turn back on the main water now. So now we're gonna take our tool and turn the water supply. All right, we turn that back on. The T was running this way for off, and now the T is running that way for on. We used our tool to turn it just the right way. So that was off. This was on, running straight to the house, right like this in a straight line. All right, guys, here we go. Meter is about to run here. <laughs> nice, no leaks. I had it set up. Everything's good, our meter's running. Everything's filling up right now as we emptied it out. Eventually it will stop. If it doesn't stop, that means it got a small garden hose leak outside. But as you can tell, none of our joints are dripping. Real nice and solid. Nice thing is this quarter ball valve turn is quick. Easy shut off. <laughs> 